today I'm going to be making some interesting jack-o'-lantern designs. So I got a puppy pineapple, I got the watermelon, I got the regular old pumpkin bob, and then I got the butternut squash. Now I'm going to be using three different kinds of knives. I don't know if I'm going to be using them all, but I just have them here just in case. And then I got this power drill with three different drill bits, a really tiny one, a medium one, and a big boy. And we might need that to help us drill some of the crap out of these things. So I'm going to start with this puppy boy squash. I figure this is going to be the hardest to hollow out, so I might as well start off with that. Now, I have my smallest drill bit, and I'm just going to start drilling instead of cutting, because I figured drilling would be a little bit more exact. All right, so now that we got the back of this butternut squash all hollowed out, we're gonna scoop whatever's left out of it using this puppy spoon. And what you're gonna be seeing is this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna carve the face now into this little bottom part right here. The problem is it's just so hard to carve this thing. This is a very puppy messy subject, right Bales? It's just so messy and it ended up being very tough to carve. And there we go, we got the completed Pipple Puppy Bad Boy Watermelon Jack-O-Lantern. What do you think, Bales? Does it look like you? Come here. I mean, not really. When she's smiling, it kind of looks like it. Here, here's a comparison. Give me some credit, all right? Well, all right, I think that those look pretty good. Let me know what you think. I actually really put a lot of time into that. That took like four hours of doing that. Bales helped me the entire way. Now, the only thing that sucked was that pineapple, man. It just kind of fell apart. It was way too thin and it just didn't work out too well. I made a bunch of holes in it and I kind of tried to repair it. I was only able to do one whisker. I wanted to do three whiskers on the cat. And the reason I did a cat was just because it was such a simple thing to do. It was just a couple triangles, a couple circles, a square, and then two lines. And I knew that it would be hard but I didn't know it was gonna be that hard. So, Bills is so excited about it that she's not even gonna sleep in the closet tonight, right? No, yeah, you're gonna sleep up here tonight, Bills. Yeah, until you change your mind and go in the closet because you're a weirdo. Well, if you were inspired by any of the jack-o'-lanterns I made today and you wanna give it a shot on your own, I encourage you to do so. And if you do, go ahead and send me a picture on Instagram, at the club, and let me see what you were able to come up with. I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. <gasps>